guys so we're up in Torre Prendiparte which is like uh, one of the highest points behind below the the actual tower that is now unfortunately closed um, so this is just below it but you get like a really nice 360 view um, so yeah we've just been up now there's a lot of stairs and it's quite steep <laughs> so you're just gonna be very careful yeah and just um, be careful <coughs> when you're going up and down it's great to get a view and as our um, most from yesterday for the through talk about like the redness of the city you, you really see it from the the clay the clay tiles along the roofs so it's really cool to see that actually from there. mentioned they're very steep not this one actually but some of them are really steep so you kind of have to go sideways Italian. I do. Yeah. Look at the pinky. <laughs> Not just for a camera, I actually do have quite often. <laughs> so we got a little, a little fried tortellini. And then. Oh, these are. I don't know what they're called, but they're very popular here. You cut the bread in half and you Ta fill it with the. Tagelli? Tagelli? Tigelli? Tagelli? Tigelli. After lunch, we uh, walked around for a little bit and then we stopped for dinner somewhere in the like the middle of it, the whole the whole market in the main square, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, quadrilatero, right. quadrilateralo, I think it's called. And um, it was this place, 051, I think it's called. And I had like a spinach lasagna, which was incredible. <laughs> and you had, I had the um. What did I have tortellini. Tor okay. Tortellini. And Michael had tortellini. I had tortellini uh, with par cream. With, with parmigiano cream. Parmigiano cream. And that was so good. Like, just both meals were incredible. Paired with a wine from the, the area. So that was quite nice. And then, uh, yeah, we sort of walked home. Um, and we're over again now. So and we're, yeah. To, to walk day. up. Yeah, we're walking. It's our last full day. Yeah, it's our last full day here. And then we're walking up toward, up to. Um, San Luca. San Luca, which is kind of just, it's about an hour walk from the center, really. Um, so that's what we're going to do now, and it's just gives a good view of the of the whole city. So that should be good. So here we are in the middle of the longest portico in the world. This is incredible. So this goes from the city center all the way to uh, the sanctuary of San Luca. So there's 666 arches. So obviously 666 is the devil's number. So the long portico resembles the snake who ultimately gets defeated at the sanctuary and crushed under Madonna's feet. So it's a really, really cool place to see. It's four kilometers long. It's like the longest in the world. And it's like... Yeah, a bit of a trek. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a trek. Ah, uh, it's not too bad, to be honest. It's not that. It's all pretty flat and yeah, it's pretty easy enough to like. And at the top, we'll get this amazing view of the city. You can already see a little bit, um, but not too, yeah, not so much. So I think once we get up there, it'll be incredible. So we're at 631 and it seems like it's the last push towards the end. So a nice little set of stairs. Um, overall really good. There is kind of halfway up, probably about the 400s, there is a lot of work going on it seems like. So you actually come out of it a little bit and then back in. Um, obviously just to maintain the whole thing, which a little bit of a shame, but uh, nothing groundbreaking, nothing 
it's not the end of the world obviously um but yeah it just takes away from it a little bit maybe so here we are we're at the top it seems like the numbers are gone but also you get a lovely lovely little view of the mountains big bit foggy today but a lot to be going in a minute but you come over here yeah much nicer view of city again some trees in the way it is a little bit busy here today but not too busy it seems like um obviously it's a monday so it won't be as busy as the weekend so i think if you're going to come up here maybe midweek would be good and um, again it's very quiet all the way up but it's really good See, you get a lovely view from up here. So, so this is the front, um, front of the basilica. So, as we mentioned, quite quiet today. So, we just finished visiting the basilica here. So, the basilica is called Madonna di San Luca. Mm. So, as we mentioned earlier, quite a long walk, quite steep. But it's well worth it. Definitely more coming up here, yeah, for sure. Um, as I mentioned earlier, definitely get here. I think it, I presume it gets a lot busier during the weekend. So we're here on a Monday, which actually I think is a great time to go here because there's nobody around. It's very quiet. It's so quiet. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's very peaceful inside as well, which is nice. Um, yeah, well worth it. We could bring some snacks, all right? So like bring yourself some bring some snacks. snacks there's like a little area here where people can eat and drink we just brought like a few biscuits and that was it but you can like have a proper lunch and have even like you know some drinks with you mm. and um yeah it's a nice spot to have a bit of a picnic i'd say yeah definitely it is a bit it's a bit cold up here now because obviously we're in december now but i'd say come up here in the middle of july june oh. i'd say it's pretty busy and pretty hot a bit foggy as well so you're not really getting the best of views um of where we're well, at the moment i think um, it's still pretty but i think in the summer it's going to be a lot more greenery around so mm. it'll it will look pretty stunning um so we're just going to head back down along probably some lunch i suppose are we? yeah so the plan now is to walk all the way to the city center so this the porticas go all the way there uh so we're going to do that up for lunch get a coffee um, another yeah. espresso we might go up the clock tower as well we'll see yeah and also dinner. Yeah. It'll be the last dinner yeah. in Bologna. Really, yeah. really tough choice on what the, the last dinner should be. <laughs> yeah, tough choice. Food overall has been very good, obviously, because uh, we're in Italy. Good. The pasta from last night was very good. Just the food in general is very good. So, like, obviously, my one recommendation, right, is definitely get a food tour in Bologna. You have to get a food tour, like. Yeah, we said that earlier in the video, food, but yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> emphasize yeah. on that. Yeah, so we'll get a food tour because it just gives you a bit, of, gives you a really good idea of what, what it's all about, like and where different meats and stuff come from in the region. Because it's not just the city of Blagnas, it's the whole region, and it just spans way out. Probably another thing, if you're a bit of a car buff, probably this is a really good spot to come to because there is a museum. It's slightly outside Blagnas, you know, but there's a museum Modena. for Modena, yeah. Um, the museum for Ferraris here and the museum for Lamborghini. So if you are into cars that way, it's definitely worth having a look. So I think it's, I'm not too sure how far exactly, but it is a little bit out, but definitely worth checking out if you are into cars. having our tea jelly so this is our first one it's basically ham and this is pecorino uh, sweet pecorino and uh, mortadella pecorino. Nice. i like this stuff it looks like a lot of ham which is good no ham more ham the better she's taking her time Oh. It's alright. So this is what we're looking at now. Moving on to number two. Prosciutto crudo, rucola, e 
macaroni. So we got the classic menu. This one is with bolognese sauce. Parmigiano. Bolognese. They're all really good though. They're, really, They're good. really good. Yeah, check it out. It's a great spot. Nice little spot for a little snack. So here we are in this San Pietro Basilica is the longest indoor meridian line. The next day. I don't want to go. <laughs> We're leaving Bologna today. So. I don't want to. We're going back home. I don't want to. <laughs> so here we are, Bologna Airport. We're on the way. I'm sad. Wanna, wanna still sad. But don't worry, we'll see what we can get in the airport. A few hours too early for our flights. We're currently outside of the gate. So at a charging point. At a charging point. So plan is to get in in about 10, 10 minutes, minutes time. Hopefully they will let us in. Um, get inside, get settled in a coffee shop, cafe place, and just clip and work for, uh, for three hours really to yeah. lure our flight back to Dublin. I'm very sad to leave. I really time loved time. Bologna. I love it. It's so good. We're definitely gonna come back. And the food was just the best. Oh, mm. It was so good. So yesterday we actually finished with a dinner in a um, cute little restaurant we uh, we found. Um, spent some time in the library. Uh, we went back to the church to uh, look at the longest indoor meridian line. It was from here all the way. there and then um, we finished with a nice dinner I had tagliatelle al ragu because I said I'm gonna try it for one more time uh, for last you know, last time back again you had and I had um, pasta with butter and parmesan um, it was actually really nice which is well. very nice yeah very straightforward very easy to cook it seems like, but obviously it's probably not. Um, but it was very nice and I will be having that again, no doubt. Mm. And again paired with uh, a nice red <laughs> wine. And um, oh yeah, and finished with the dessert. So I had a uh, lovely tiramisu, Michael had some hot chocolate, um, equally nice. So yeah, we did some work in the morning, checked out and made our way to the airport. So, regarding that, there is a bus uh, that goes straight from the main road in Bologna. It's called, it's uh, 944 that comes straight to the airport. Um, it's about 25 minutes, um, really easy to get onto. You pay with your card. In most buses you can pay with your own card. It's, I think it's one euro 50 per um, trip. No, oh, should we have to show people the background? So here we are, right in the middle of. So we're having our. What are they? I'm desperate. I'm desperate on this. 